guys, welcome back to another episode of Kaylee Creates. And today I'm trying another UV makeup look, the like glow in the dark, black light. Um, I have found this look on Instagram and I have not stopped thinking about it for the last like three weeks. So I really wanna try and do something like it. I don't really know how I'm gonna be able to do it, but we will see, it will be a journey. But I am obsessed with this look. So this is by Danny Mara Creative. And it is like yellow and it looks almost like she has like lava on her like neck and chest. And it's like melting into her hair and she just looks like this like fairy lava queen thing. And I just, I, I need to try it. <laughs> so, um, We'll see how this goes. It might be awful, it might be great, but we will see. Um, I also haven't filmed in quite a long time, so I feel a little bit like out of it. So <laughs> thanks for sticking with me. Um, but the very first thing that I'm gonna start with is just do like a base, like a normal base. She has some fake freckles on, but I don't really know how to do fake freckles. So I think I'm gonna skip that one. Um, but I'm going to start with my eyebrows. So this is the Benefit Cabrow in the shade three, like normal. And then to cut my brows, I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm and my little EXO Beauty Dual Paddle Brush. And for primer, I'm using my professional Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. Um, yep. Okay. Um, I have to wet my sponge. I'll be back. Okay. And for foundation, I'm using my Ordinary uh, Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 1.2 Neutral, which is like light neutral. Um, this one is a little bit darker than my other foundations, so I think it would look good with like the lights off um, type of thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, and then same concealer that I used to set my eyebrows. I'm going to be putting it all over my eyes as well. Okay, and then for powder, I actually have a new one. Um, I got the Beauty Bakery uh, Better Not Bitter Flower Setting Powder. Um, look how cute this is. It's in like a little flower bag because it's adorable. Um, it says, it has like the nutrition facts on the side and it says one sweetie per serving that it's vegan, zero calories, gluten-free, It's lightweight mattifying and there's no flashback so i'm pretty excited i like that it says do not ingest on it um and it has like baking tips and i got the shade oat which is not the lightest one but it the lightest one was just white so i thought i might as well get this one so ooh, look how cute it is um Flower setting powder. It does say that it's translucent though. I normally just tap it out into the lid. First, I'm gonna start with just putting it on my eyes and under my eyes. Ooh, it feels soft. It doesn't smell like anything at all, which I appreciate. The last one that I used smelled like coconut, which is cool, but I'm kind of excited to have one that doesn't smell. So, so far it doesn't look like it is making anything darker. It's not oxidizing. And then I'm gonna be trying to set my whole face as well. It definitely looks like it's mattifying, which I actually really like that. I like it when my powder mat mattifies me. So far, it does not make it look like any of my fine lines are super deep, which I kind of felt like my Ciate one did. I think it looks nice. 
Okay. I almost splurged on the Laura Mercier, but it's not, I don't believe Laura Mercier is cruelty free. You may correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I try my very hardest to be cruelty free, which I found out recently that Benefit is not cruelty free. And I don't know why I thought they were, but now I have a bunch of Benefit products and I want to use them up, but I'm frustrated. Like, I don't, I don't know why I thought that they were, but Beauty Bakery is, and they're vegan, which is cool. Um, cool. So the next part would be moving on to my neck, which makes me nervous. So I think I'm going to move on to highlighter. I don't believe I have any UV activated highlighters, but I, th I think this would be the closest thing that I would have. So this is my Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt highlighter. This is in the shade Metal Moon because it's white like that. So I think maybe it could be reflective in some way, which would be awesome, but we will see if it happens. Okay, so she does have a bunch going on on her neck. So I think I'm just gonna pull my hair back and I'm gonna be using a bigger flat brush and just my CC Beauty uh, black shade. And I'm just gonna be drawing the like lava rocks all over my neck um, with some space in between for the UV pigment. Okay, so I think this is as much as I'm gonna be able to do. I did clean up the edges a little bit, but mm, still not the best. But I'm gonna be setting it with my Mayron setting powder and like a big old brush. Cause I don't want to smear it while I do the next step. And onto my favorite thing, and that is my neons. So I love my um, Edos Atelier uh, neon pigments. This is in the shade Zesty Lemon. Look how bright that is. I know that the, that the reference photo is a lot more like orangish yellow, which maybe I'll mix a little bit of orange in there. Maybe not. I'm just excited to use yellow because I feel like I haven't actually used the neon yellow yet. Urgh. And I'm just using Mayron Mixing Liquid and I'm just gonna be filling in all the cracks to make it look like lava. Okay. Whoo, all right. I'm exhausted. That was a lot. <sighs> Funny part is, is when I put my head all the way up and you can see the line. It's my favorite. Okay, and she had a bunch like brushed into her hair. I don't know how she did that. And I don't know if I should try. I don't want to put it like all the way in my hair like she did, but I kind of want to at least I don't know. Do I really want to dye my hair yellow? I will, however. I don't know, I'm gonna do a little like drips on the side of my face. This is pretty cool looking so far. If only I had like a wig that I could just throw on on top of this, that'd be awesome. I genuinely do not know how to paint my hair with this. Hmm. I, 
think I'm just gonna use this Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush and just kind of like wet it in the mixing liquid. <sighs> no, I picked up way too much powder. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how this is gonna go. We will see. Just to put into perspective, this is my hand right now. I'm covered, covered. And then she has her lashes done as well. So I'm gonna use this little spoolie and dip it, oh, dip it in the mixing liquid and then dip it in the powder. I think it's going on. I have it all over my face. I'm just kind of splattering it as well because it's already all over my face, so might as well, you know? Okay, um, I think some of it's on my lashes. I think. Um, and then last but not least, she has her lips black. So I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, and I'm gonna be using my NYX Liquid Suede Black Lipstick. Um, this is in the shade Alien. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with black lips lately. Um, I think that is everything. So I'm gonna set up my black light and do the final re reveal. I love this so much. This is so cool. Oh my God, why don't I use black light in like every single one of my looks? Because I am obsessed with this. I mean, look at my hands though. Uh, crazy. Um, cool. So this is the final look. I think it's worth painting my hair a little bit. Oh my God, oh my God. My eyes look so weird. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out with me on this little bit of a journey. Um, and I hope you guys had fun, cause I definitely did. I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit and this was a lot of fun. But I hope to see you guys on the next one and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.